Okay, so recently we tried a lot of budget phones around 10,000. And we also have this new Moto G42 launched. I've been using it as my daily driver for four to five days now. But there are a couple of solid options at this price. So if you have a budget of around 12,000 to 13,000, which budget phone should you buy? Well, we'll give you a clear answer. And of course, there is also the question of Moto G42 or Moto G52. We'll talk about that as well. Now around 12, 13,000, the three most top options are recently launched Moto G42, Redmi Note 11 and Samsung M32. Now, there are a few things in this price range that is common for every phone. Like you get a plastic bag, plastic frame, you'll get dual SIM card slot and a dedicated micro SD card slot. Rest, you have two types of phones in this budget. Number one, LCD phones. Number two, AMOLED phones. Now, I'll make your purchase easier. If you want performance, get an LCD phone. If your priority is a good display, casual usage and more media entertainment, that kind of, here are three phones. All of them are AMOLED. And all of the three phones are full HD AMOLED display. And this is good AMOLED panel, as you can see. They look really bright under outdoor sunlight. All of them can go like 700 nits peak brightness. By the way, both Redmi Note 11 and Samsung M32 has 90 hertz refresh rate. And daily browsing here, if you see side by side with a 60 hertz display, you can see there's a difference. Actually, we'll slow down this footage and now you can see there is a difference and it even feels in real life. Now, Samsung M32 has this dew drop display, whereas Moto G42 has the least bezels and even the bottom chin. Rest, all three phones are very handy, compact. The Samsung M32 is a bit bulky because it has 6000 mAh battery. And if you see here, even the weight is around 198, 200 grams. Whereas Redmi Note 11 and Moto G42 are 175, 176 grams quite lightweight. Also, Redmi Note 11 and G42 have dual speakers, which is very rare in this range. And if you listen to it, Now, the Moto G42 is more bassy, so it feels like 10-20% louder, but both phones are equally loud. And all in all, display and form factor, all three phones are really good. But the real difference starts in performance. See, both Redmi Note 11 and Moto G42 have Snapdragon 680, while Samsung M32 has old MediaTek G80. Now you'll be like, Pratik, that's okay. How does it affect my day-to-day -day life? And I'll be like, good question. See, if you see n 2 scores, Samsung M32 has the lowest scores and it scores about 30 to 35% less than the other two phones. But Benchmarks are just benchmarks. How much of a difference it has in real life? Well, see here, Manu and I will try to open these five apps at the same time on these three phones and we'll see who does it the fastest. And now just to make sure there is no app in the background on all the three phones. So now we'll start with the messages app. Uh, it opened fastest on the G42, but very close on all the three phones. Now we'll go with the Google Chrome app and it loaded faster on the Redmi and Moto phone. We'll open a random web page so that we can check if it is in memory. And now let's move to the camera app. And it was fastest on the Redmi and then on the Moto. We'll just go to the more page and swipe up. Let's go to the photos app and kind of similar on all the three phones. We'll open a photo and let's go back to Google Play Store a bit faster on the Redmi or and Samsung. So we'll just search a random app and see if it is in memory or not. Swipe up. Now let's start with messages app. It's in memory on all the three phones. And now Google Chrome, again, in memory on all the three phones. Go back to camera app. It reloaded on Redmi and Moto G42. So surprisingly, Samsung has it in memory. Same with the photos app. It's in memory on all the three phones and Play Store, it's in memory on all the three phones. Now, as you can see from the speed test, it was more or less same on all the three phones, but there is one clear thing. The Samsung M32 is a bit slower, and I've also observed in day-to-day -day usage and practical life, the M32 is a bit slower than the other two phones. See, we purposely selected basic apps because these are budget phones, and like they are good with casual use, like WhatsApp, Twitter, a bit of multitasking, etc. If you want a performance or gaming phone, 
it is better to increase your budget and the second most important thing is camera and we are out here to clear that confusion samsung and moto have better skin tone and moto takes more close to natural photos and if you zoom in on manu's face there is enough sharpness redmi note 11 a lot of time takes blur photos or there is not enough sharpness in the photo and there is also a green tint on the skin and surprisingly all the three phones have an ultra wide angle camera which is very rare in this price range and overall the photos look good but if you zoom in there is not enough sharpness and in selfies i found the moto g42 to be a bit sharper but overall all these phones were okayish in terms of selfies and even on the front selfie camera you get 1080p video recording on all the three phones rest all the three phones can do 1080p video recording one thing that i noticed is moto g42 lets you shoot 1080p videos on the ultra wide angle camera as well as macro camera quite new and the only phone that lets you do that now in terms of software here's the main difference in all the three phones the only phone to have android 12 is moto g42 so you get latest android 12 but moto g42 has zero ads and no bloatware you might already know that but there are a couple of things which people don't talk about enough number 1 pure android 12 if you look at moto g42 you have the option to choose color based on wallpaper so if i choose this c yellow theme my keyboard settings and app drawer are all in the same theme color Number 2 you can also change icon shape. So all those Android 12 customizations you see those are present on Moto G42. Now back to the ads and bloat. See here in Samsung M32 you get wallpaper ads. You have this discover tab where you have this app recommendation. Then you also have bloatware. Now all of this can be disabled and uninstalled but this is what you get by default. On the other hand, Redmi Note 11 has bloatware which you can uninstall. Overall Moto G42 has this clean software and that is their strength. It's kind of good for elders and parents like personal example I just gave my dad a Moto G52. Now both Moto G42 and Redmi Note 11 have a 5000 mAh battery but you get a 33 watt fast charger on Redmi Note 11 so it can go 100% in just 1 hour 1 hour 10 minutes. Whereas Moto G42 has 20 watt fast charging so it takes around 1 hour 30 minutes to full charge and last Samsung M32 has 15 watt charging and it takes 2 and a half hours to completely charge 100%. Also, important thing, Redmi Note 11 and Moto G42 has 4G plus carrier aggregation, but how does that affect in real life? Well, this year is Samsung M32, it has 4G and this phone has 4G plus and if you see real life in speed test, the difference in download speeds is about twice. So, if you don't have Wi-Fi, I think you should get a 4G plus phone. So here's the conclusion. Moto G42 and Redmi Note 11 seem like very similar phones, but I would personally prefer Moto G42 due to the cleaner software and better camera. Also Moto G42 is up on Flipkart at 1399, but you get 1000 discount on SBI City and other cards. If you get it for 1299, it is a really good buy. But if it is 1399, Moto G52 is also available for 500 more at 14499. Get this. You get a faster 90 hertz display and 33 watt fast charging. Rest, if you need a Samsung device for call recording and all of that, Samsung M32 is the best option from Samsung at this price range. So, this is Pradeep signing off. See you in the next video. Phew phew.